welcome back again so now we are going to design for the gib iron quarter joint okay so in the previous video i have explained about the different components and their joints how it will be happen okay so now in the today class we learn how to design and gib iron quarter joint so it's given a maximum load of 35 kilo newton <clears throat> okay so let us assume that is an tensile load let us take p as 35 kilo newton okay, 35 into 10 power of 3 newton and assuming that gib quarter and rod means all the three components are made with the same material okay it means all we are assuming any one material and their stresses it will be same for all the materials like the major parts like gib quarter and rods are mentioned and having the their maximum or allowable stresses or permissible stresses design stresses that is given as sigma t as 20 mega pascal tau as 15 mega pascal and sigma c as 50 mega pascal all are in newton per millimeter square where 1 mega pascal is equal to 1 newton per millimeter square okay so now you need to calculate all the parameters which is required to design the gib iron quarter joint okay so in the previous video i have explained about the different parts and their sizes and shapes okay so here this is an fork dent having a strap at their both the ends and having a square rod so we are designing for the square rod so x is the uh, sides distance of sides and uh, <clears throat> having a strap thickness as t1 okay and another point it will be square rod and one gib will be inserted another quarter will be having okay so now uh, we will understand what is b and what, what are the different notation which are been used while solving this type of problem okay so while solving the problem then we'll see parallelly with the diagram okay so that you can understand very easily okay so now first thing i am going to design for the this uh, rod okay square rod so the given data which is already we are written now we'll design for the square rod okay uh, so we can write square rod means there you need to calculate x distance sides uh, okay uh, sides of the square rod you are going to calculate that is x we have mentioned in the problem okay so now by considering the failure in the rod due to the tension okay so failure of the rod in tension that equation is p is equal to x square into sigma okay so p is the load 35 into 10 power of 3 is equal to x square into sigma t as 20 okay now calculate the x distance so 41.8 so uh, 41.8 again we'll go for the rounded value a uh, highest rounded value then uh, you can say design value as 42 mm because all are in mm so whatever the dimension you are calculating are in mm stresses will be in newton per mm square so x we have calculated now using that x we can calculate the some other parameters 
like uh, some of the mathematical formula using the uh, proportions we can calculate the other um, dimensions like uh, you can calculate the width of the strap width of strap okay now i will show in the diagram so this will be the width of the strap like as i said you two end will be like a uh, socket type so this with thickness will be called as a strap both the ends the strap thickness it will be same so that is is equal to uh, we'll say the th uh, width of this strap it is mentioned as b1 that is is equal to x it means again it is 42 millimeter okay so after that a uh, thickness of the quarter thickness of quarter okay so thickness of quarter here we have the quarter okay so b will be the width t will be the thickness so that is is equal to there is a proportion like b1 by 4 using this proportion you will get the thickness of quarter it means 42 by 4 so we get 10.5 so you can say 11 or 12 as the design value better go for the higher value always so if you are getting 10.5 you can choose uh, 11 millimeter no problem okay so 11 or 12 also you can choose next thickness of the gib that we'll write as thickness of the gib uh, so thickness of the gib it is here is the gib so this thickness uh, t2 will be same thickness or uh, like uh, l4 okay so l4 and uh, t2 that should be same okay so now the thickness of the gib that will be is equal to the length of the gib, gib head this will be called as gib head okay so it means you can say uh, l2 l4 is equal to t2 okay so that should be is equal to again the thickness of the quarter it means again you are taking as 11 millimeter so all should be equal so t is equal to l4 l4 is equal to t2 that should be same okay so this you need to maintain so this is all about the basic parameter we are calculated next we will again go for calculating another one uh, uh, total width of the gib so total width of the gib uh, uh, like gib bind quarter okay so width of the gib and quarter width of the gib and quarter so that is will be denoted by b okay so uh, using the formula where the failure of the gib and quarter in double shear that equation is p is equal to 2b into t into tau okay 2b t into tau so now you can calculate the b using this equation again substitute p as 35 into 10 power of 3 is equal to 2b t is we have calculated 11 mm and shear stress which is given as 15 okay now let us check what the total width of the gib bind quarter you are getting so 35 into 10 power of 3 by 2 into 11 into 15 okay so we got 106 okay so 106.06 106.06 it is also in millimeter okay so rounded you can make say 107 millimeter rounded value will make the rounded value again some other parameters which will be used in the gibs like width of the gib okay so width of the gib uh, we have mentioned in the diagram 
that is as b1 so here this will be the width of the gib so this t1 and l4 it will be same like whatever the thickness you are having that should be same as this one width this height thickness is round to same now bit width b1 so b1 you can calculate using the proportion like 0.55 into b so 0.55 into b is 107 so it is 58 so i will say 58 uh, then you can go for 60 mm and rounded value like that you can calculate the uh, values so and also you can calculate the width of the quarter okay as you know the width of the quarter that will be b is equal to 0.45 into b okay 0.45 into b using b value again 107 that is 48 so we can say 49 mm rounded value okay so all the parameter is been going to be calculated now so next after width again we'll go for calculating the thickness of the strap strap thickness okay so that we'll say a uh, strap thickness we have mentioned uh, as t1 okay so strap thickness you can say t1 will be given so t1 you can calculate using the formula where p is equal to 2 in the bracket x t1 minus t1 into t whole divided by sigma t okay so using this equation we'll get the t1 value because only t1 will be unknown in the entire equation okay just a bit okay now uh, i will write uh, i will substitute the equation like p is equal to 35 into 10 power of 3 that is is equal to 2 and where x value uh, as 42 mm into t1 minus t1 into t t is again 11 mm into whole divided by sigma t so sigma t is 20 mm okay now using the calculator So this become forty to forty two t one minus eleven t one. So forty two minus eleven, you will get thirty one t one. Thirty one into four zero one two four zero into t one. 35 into 10 power of 3. So now directly L T1 is equal to 35 into 10 power of 3 divided by 1240. So 28.22. So let us say 29 or 30. You can mention the highest value. That will be the thickness of the strap. Okay. Now after calculating the thickness of thickness of the strap, then we'll go for uh, Uh, checking the crushing stresses okay so after all these basic parameter we have to check once whether all the dimensions are a uh, safe or not okay as per the design uh, uh, policy you need to check once now we'll have the one equation to check the uh, uh, crushing stresses okay so we are uh, using that equation to check the question says p is equal to 2 t1 into t into sig 
मासिक नाउ सबसेट ऑल थर्टी फाइव इंटू टेन पर ऑफ थ्री इज इक्वल टू टू टी वन इज थर्टी एंड टी इज इलेवन इंटू सिग्मा सी ओके सो नाउ इफ द any the sigma says c that should be lesser than the given value so you can conclude that the design is safe if it is more then increase the values here so that the stress you are getting it will be less okay now we'll check how much you will obtain here 35 into 10 power of 3 whole divided by 2 into 30 into 11 so we got 53 okay so the given value is 50 only and we are obtaining 53 so uh, you can increase the dimension let us say this is as 32 we'll say if you increase this then there may be chance of so if i say 32 then i got 49.7 it means it is an lesser than the given i uh, means allowable stresses as 50 mega pascal now this is the safest value okay or even if you can uh, in increase the thickness like you can take 12 okay and uh, uh, these parameters how we have to increase little more so that the all the values are can be safe okay after uh, having this again uh, we have to go for another parameters like length of the rods l1 l2 l3 that also you are you are going to calculate okay so first we will calculate l1 length of the rod as it is mentioned in the figure also so here this distance is the l1 so that again i have made separate diagram for that to understand more clear so this end fork end the strap strap here so from end of the rod to the end of the strap so that will be taken as l1 and this uh, distance from end of the uh, rod to the edges so that will be taken as l3 so l1 l3 and l2 as which is already there from uh, from the cord uh, this you can mention see here see this end of the give here from give end to the end of the plate that will be taken as l2 and l1 l l1 is this one l2 is this one and this is l3 and uh, now finally this is at l4 okay so width of the give okay or we can say this uh, will be l4 okay like that l1 l2 l3 l4 also you can calculate okay some parameter i will calculate now and uh, like l1 there is a equation to calculate so p is equal to now this you are going to calculate p is equal to 2 l1 into x into tau so substitute the p value 35 into 10 power of 3 is equal to 2 into l1 and x value that is 42 mm into tau value is 15 okay so now 35 into 10 power of 3 divided by 2 into 42 into 15 so we got 27.7 so we can go for making the rounded value as 28 mm like that you can calculate the some smaller values um, sometimes that can be considered or that can be neglected okay so these are the major parameter which we have calculated okay so thank you once again everyone for watching this video have a good day